What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing our final video of the day. Not that we had many today. And it's going to be the recap of the Packers draft, which boy, them Eagles and Packers, man. The race is hot. It's it's getting steamy. Who's going to have the worst draft? Let's find out. The Packers, fair enough. Round one, you know, Jordan Love. Think about the future. A guy with a lot of upside. A guy that could really benefit from a sit and learn situation. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, Rogers about to be thirty-seven in December. You got us. It's a, it's an okay pick. It's not terrible. Then what in the world is that second round pick? AJ Dillon. Fair enough. He, he looks like a decent player. He's only got like nine hundred attempts in his career already. And he's only joining, you know, the Packers who their second strongest position group is the running back. You know, <laughs> Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams, a solid one-two punch. Don't get me wrong. I get it, right? The the salary cap situation. Who can, Who's going to be re-signed? One of them's going to be gone, right? Maybe we trade one. Hell, maybe we get a second-round pick out of, you know, like an Aaron Jones for whatever reason you would decide to do that. Why? Dylan would have probably maybe maybe Dylan wouldn't have been there, but is he re really? Your quarterback is begging you for uh, maybe they should maybe Rogers should have been more clear. Maybe maybe what he said uh, some playmakers on offense. Maybe he should have literally pointed out the wide receiver position. Maybe he should have crossed out all the other positions, circled the one he wanted, and then listed some names or something. Maybe maybe then they would have gotten. I don't know. Maybe. Even then, that's a bit of a reach because we, we saw what happened last year as well. Uh, I mean, I like, once again, I think the first two picks are examples of like the player but not the pick because it j they just don't belong on the teams they landed on. And then the third pick, okay, fair enough. He looks all right. But what all, what all these picks are really pointing towards is a complete scheme change of becoming that true run first team, which you have Aaron Rodgers. What what are you doing? What? What do you mean run run first? You're picking up a tight end that I mean he's an okay receiver, but you're basically getting a blocking tight end, right? And you're getting a running back that's is basically a glorified fullback. And then you have a quarterback who needs to learn. He's not gonna be able to sling it hardcore. Do you really just want to be a complete running team at this point? I would have much rather had Josh Jones over Dylan. And then the tight end position, there was better prospects there. Hell, I would have probably traded up and gotten Duvernay. That's who I was looking at. I mean, you guys see my uh, little mock draft I had. I absolutely would have much rather had that one. I mean, 10 times over. And it wasn't even very far off of realism. The Titans kind of stole Fulton on us, which, let's be honest, you could see the way we're drafting this year. Probably wouldn't have selected him. Uh, you know, we had Queen on the trade up. Decided not to go for him. I mean, at this point, does it even matter? Who does it? Does day three even matter? Do, like, does it? As the uh, the Patriots take their second tight end in round three. I I don't know how the Eagles are going to top this one. I think I think the Packers might have locked in worst draft already, and it's not even day three technically. Um, but I can't even find optimism. This is the first time as a Packers fan than I can remember where I'm just completely dissatisfied by the draft. You know, there's other times where it's like, oh, why'd you go this guy? You should have went with him. There's maybe one or two picks where you don't really like it. You can't really see it. But this one so far, love I can kind of see, but it's only because of how bad the other picks are. Well, A.J. Dillon was astronomically bad. I don't even know if that's even a word I should be using for that, but I don't care. We're using it today. Why? It's not even just what you have, it's what you took. It's a running back. Just only the most abundant, and by far the most abundant skill position. There are people that don't even have a, a job in the NFL right now that are decent starters because it's such, I don't want to say an easy position to play, but at the end of the day, you have a good line and anyone could run behind it. It just, I mean, maybe not Trent, um, <laughs> maybe not some guys, but 90% of professional running backs can run through an open hole, right? Like, it's not hard to make somebody miss, per se. 
I, I don't know, man. I maybe I'm completely off base, and uh, the, nah, I'm not even gonna say that. That's that's not even a that's not even a joke at this point. I'm I'm not off base. We're gonna be looking at a new front office within the next few years when all of this implodes. We're looking back. Wow, two Hall of Fame quarterbacks, two Super Bowls. Rodgers couldn't even make it to a second one. They got off of a championship run, and you didn't land a single wide receiver in the first three rounds. You took a tight end that's basically a blocker in the third. You took two backups in the first two rounds when you had options at actual immediate needs. Damn, that was re- that was really a great time in history for you guys. Meanwhile, the Ravens, Car- I mean, I'll mention the Cardinals because they're doing really well too, but the Ravens are literally picking players that couch GMs would pick. They're like the clear-cut safe picks, and they're all great. Every Ravens pick I've seen looks amazing. They have another one coming up. By the time this video goes up, it'll be amazing too. Just just believe me. Just believe me. It'll be amazing. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I was going to stream tonight, and I'm a little tired, but the main reason I'm not streaming tonight, I just cannot be bothered. I haven't had my mood dropped by something as trivial as an NFL draft in ages. I just, I haven't. I just, I don't feel like, I don't even know. I'm barely, gonna, luckily I have something pre-recorded for tomorrow. I barely will record tonight probably. But if you guys want to see something on the draft, I'm sorry. I know it's probably a poor excuse. But if you guys want to see uh, something uh, draft related, let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I'm not the craziest knowledgeable person for the draft so maybe I could do something with it give me your rebuild team ideas of course by the time day three is done we'll have a better idea we're gonna probably do the rebuild on Sunday might wait till Monday though because I do want some time and uh, I will say to make it up for you guys to you guys maybe a stream on Sunday I know I'm terrible I'm absolutely terrible but I still haven't fixed my sleeping schedule and I imagine tomorrow is not going to be an option because the Packers are going to piss me off even more. So Sunday, I would like to commit to a stream. Hopefully, Sunday night. Anyways, hopefully you guys at least have been enjoying the content that I've been posting. Ooh, Davion Taylor. The Philadelphia Eagles completely turning around. Maybe a little bit of a reach there, but better than the Packers so far. Barely, but still better. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Give me some of your reactions. I know most people are just completely trolling the Packers because we have failed so hard so far. And these are the rounds that matter. Four through seven is really just kind of luck, honestly. Maybe the fourth, you can argue, but realistically, five through seven, nah. There's just it's it's all luck. It really is. At, at that point, it's basically luck. You had one of the deepest classes in the second-ish round, the first to second round, and you failed. Trade down or something. I don't know, dude. I'm shocked I could go on basically running a circle and repeating myself for ages, but I won't I won't do that to you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my angers. And yeah, like I said, any suggestions for draft content, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!